It's here. You want to come in? It's here. Good morning. What a blessed day. Hi, my name's Kathy. Welcome to my channel. It's just Kathleen Pate. I'm here in central Alabama. I am from South Florida where I have lived most of my life. This has come way earlier than I ever would have anticipated. I have been looking at tractors and I have been blessed with this gift. I have been given the use of this tractor. It's not mine, but I can use it as much as I need to, which is awesome because as you can see, there's a lot to be done on this farm and it's just me and my mother-in-law and my dog. So I've had to tone down everything that I've wanted to do. And so far it's just chickens and trying to grow things. And this spring, Hasn't been all that great. We did get some tomatoes, but I've been traveling back and forth from here to South Florida. So it, it's made it kind of hard. So right now I just have my chickens and I am starting my fall garden. Yeah. I decided to start this channel because I wanted to show that you, me, an older, single, actually widowed female, with her dog and her mother-in-law can have a homestead, can have a farm and, and do the things that they need to do to make, well, actually right now, just to get by, I'm hoping that by next year that I'll be able to actually make a profit. But right now my, my goal is to repair, 
clean up, grow food to feed our family. And, and you can do that at any age. I'm 56 this year. I just retired last year. I was fortunate enough to be able to retire. Um, things, of course, did not go the way that things were planned. But that's life. Life's hard. And it's how we react to it and respond to it that gets us through it. So I hope that you come back by and visit my channel and see my adventures because boy have I had some adventures and I, I'm hoping that I can inspire women my age and younger because I have well I've sat here in the shade long enough in this field so again I hope you come back by and see me and share my adventures with me but I'm going to go back to driving around in this tractor because oh my god this is fun thank
what I need. I'm just talking to like this. big boy. Good morning. Welcome to my blog. I'm Kathleen Pate. Oh my goodness, it's only a little after nine. It is 76 degrees and I have already broken out in a sweat. I'm go ahead and walk down through these peas and to show you how well they're growing so far. Right now that I have the beans weeded, hoed, and given them a little water, we're hoping for rain today. 
It's supposed to be raining this morning, but it hasn't happened yet. So hopefully this afternoon it'll rain and a little bit of water I've given them will keep them going a little bit longer. So now I mowed yesterday and now I need to get some weed eating done. It is hot out here. It's only a little after 10 and it's still only 79 degrees, which is really cool for this time of the year. I burned up two batteries. I got a lot of work done. Let me switch this around. Or maybe not. Anyway, I got a lot of work done. I'm starving. It's time for breakfast. I'll see y'all in, in a few minutes. Oh my goodness, these crazy chickens. Can you see her up there? Oh my goodness. Walked around the corner and there she is. Come on, Chit Chit. What are you doing up there? Crazy chickens. Come on, silly. After breakfast, I came out here and started doing a little trimming. And now I'm gonna go play with that. Well, I'm gonna have to say that it was an interesting day on the tractor today. When I came out, I realized that the tire was rubbing on the bush hog. So I had to figure out how to tighten up the sway bars, which I did. And since I have done that, the tractor has run a lot smoother. So another lesson learned today, make sure that your implement is nice and tight and not swaying. Um, I'd love to get it, the uh, bush hog a little bit further from the tractor, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. But since I have done that and it is running better, it's not as noisy, it's actually a joy to drive now. Um, I did a little work, picked up a big piece of plastic, moved it out to the back field where we have a, uh, a large wood pile. Um, and I'm gonna call that a day, I think. We've got company coming tonight and I need to go run some errands. So everybody have a blessed day. Only six eggs today. Must be from all the rain. Okay, I found two more. So, eight. All right, Hurricane Laura, well now Tropical Storm Laura, has impacted us a little bit. This is where all the rain has come from last night and today. So I'm gonna walk around the fences and make sure that there's nothing on the fence lines and everything's standing up like it's supposed to be. And that's much better. This side looks pretty good. I have found a few limbs laying on the ground, but everything else looks pretty good back here so far. 
greenhouse did pretty well. It didn't blow away, which is awesome. Everything still looks pretty, pretty tight. I invested in these ground stakes and they seem to have are to be working wonderfully. The usual fallen branches. Okay, so maybe a small catastrophe. Something knocked it over. Hopefully it was just the wind. I don't see any deer tracks, so I guess maybe it was just the wind. It's really hard to tell, and it's really muddy here, so <laughs> here goes nothing. <sighs> yeah, it's really muddy. I need to be careful. All right. And the fence is back up. Doing a quick visual inspection of the fence. That corner is too muddy for me to get down into. So I'm going to walk up over there and check it from that side. It's hard to see the wire for the fencing. This is all the deer fencing around the garden. But from what I can tell, it all looks good. And the fencing here in the orchard all looks intact also. Trees all look good. And this side looks good too. Well, this is interesting. I've got little button looking mushrooms all over. I know it's hard to see, but they're all over this field. Little clusters of them. Cool. Okay, so other than a few fences down, some small branches down, not a whole lot of stuff going on with Tropical Storm Laura. We have a few more storms that are headed this way, but I don't think they won't, are going to be anything that they were last night or this morning. Thanks for stopping by for this little report on the storm. <laughs>